Hi everyone, today we are going ahead and doing a current household video for the month of January 2022 and this is an update for the Dove Legacy household. Okay, so as you can see, uh, one of our, oh, there he goes, Kyle is off to work. Now, let's go ahead and start off with Diana. So, if you don't know, I created this sim, Diana Dove, and I think I also had her parents. Let's go ahead and have a look at our family tree to start on off. So, we had Diana, and her father was Antoine, and her mother was Annabella. So, she, Diana, went ahead and got married to Carl Wolf. He was just a random sim that I made because honestly, I really wanted her to have a partner and I couldn't find anyone that was suitable and it just wasn't working out. So I built her a boyfriend. They have three sons. Can you believe it? They have Jasper, Cade, and Fletcher. And she is currently pregnant. <laughs> I think she just found out she was pregnant. Okay, so... That's what we've gone ahead and done. If I remember correctly, the last time I played this, I played it so much. Hold on, let me get rid of that. I played it so much for the first couple of like the first week of January, I feel like. And I was like, I need to slow this down. So I turned lifespan on long because it was just going too fast. And uh, what ended up happening was I was playing one time like mid January and the power went out. And I lost like hours of progress I hadn't saved, which is like my own fault. You know, it's my own fault. So I was like so devastated that I lost so much progress and I just got off and didn't touch it again. And then life got absolutely wild for a second there. And there were like two weeks where I couldn't even get onto my computer, let alone play with this. And then this is the first time I've hopped in since like I think like the 10th or 11th of January or something like that. So I did play with him a decent amount, like many, many hours. I have progressed this household quite a bit. I don't think I actually showed the house beforehand, but this house is like a modern mansion. As you can see, I've got the urns up here. This is going to be like a little memorial area. I think I might have showed this house off a little bit at some point potentially in a video. But if I didn't, I basically started off with just this area here and then like a downstairs area like this bathroom bedroom that was it it cut off like right here so we've extended a lot this way before it used to cut off I think about here if not smaller and so now we have our kitchen living dining all the way over here this room used to be her parents bedroom I believe and now it's been turned into her toddler room in here we built a plant room like a sunroom for their greenhouse area and then here is Diana's study that she does all her music stuff in, some more plants outside, and an area for the boys to play. Then we've got our little like dock area. And as you can see, I fenced in the whole house here with this fence, which looks kind of weird and you can't like change the height of it and you can't change the like slope of the water or anything. So I have this fence going all the way around the property because I was sick of people they would like swim up to the back door and come in through the house that way and then walk out like there was this weird routing issue even though I put a fence at the front and locked that people would swim to the back door and even though the back door was locked they'd be able to get in and I was like no way so that's why I added this fence here and then this door so that's all locked people can't like get into this part of our house because I was sick of random people just coming in our house all the time so anyway that's our house and then yeah up here you got their bedroom like the parents bedroom and then there's like another hallway here that's gonna go up and this is eventually gonna be the bedroom of the boys now I hate to say this I don't know how pregnancies work in the sims with like selecting the gender but the baby did get born before my power cut out and it was a girl and I was so 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 happy with that but then my power cut off and that's why I like to shut down the game I was like dead ass cut the cameras like <laughs> I'm done because I got a baby girl finally after three boys and then it'll the whole progress got lost so I don't know if she's still technically pregnant with a girl or if it's decided at birth but if if it's still the same she should be having a girl and my plan was to have the three boys up here once the toddlers all age up they're not triplets or anything she just happened to have three separate like pregnancies with boys and then this would be the girl's bedroom down here 
that's kind of my plan and obviously we need to upgrade our table eventually but we are a little bit poor at the moment i mean we're, we're doing okay look at our house our house is like a mansion i freaking love it i've just been extending on and adding on and it's been so much fun we've got some solar panels up here a pool the parents pool and then down here we've got a little like barbecue and mixology area and then an undercover meditation zone that also covers the plants and yeah that's pretty much what we got going on housewise now let's go through diana and see what she's progressed with since you guys saw her last let's also get her just to do a little bit of cleaning up because it's looking a little bit just a little bit dirty in here and are the boys doing okay they need anything i did honestly cheat their moods up right before this because they were like not doing well <laughs> okay diana has to go to work soon we'll send the boys to daycare but first let's go ahead and look into her so she still has this thing here. I've been trying to do the self-care variety. This aspiration is really hard to do. I honestly might change it. She has got up to level eight in the musician career. And I believe I chose like the performer one or something like the musical performer. So she's been doing that. She has high cooking skill, fitness, handiness, painting, parenting, photography, piano and violin and also wellness. Over here, what's going on here? Oh, she's got close bonds with her sons. She's obviously friends with all of her sons, except for Fletcher. I don't know why he's got like a bit of a tood with her, but that's just that. Carl and some other like friends from around the island. I always end up being friends with the same people each time I play in this island living place. Uh, Sulani, sorry, I couldn't remember the name for a second. She has a aspiration to lose weight. But like, I don't think she's going to have time. She's only got three hours, but she definitely did slim down a little bit. And then she got pregnant. I think it's just not like registering properly. She's childish, high maintenance, art lover and spa membership. She likes gardening, handiness and violin. And she has the indoorsy lifestyle. She did get her fine art degree. So that is good. And we do have some neighborhood action plan. Oh, no, we don't. Maybe we do. Hold on. Where can I check that? The mailbox? Let's check that. Oops, don't vote on them. I think we already have the max amount. All right. Anyway, I don't know how to check that. We'll just leave it alone. All right. She's about to go to work. So I'll just introduce you to the boys really quickly before they go to daycare. We have Fletcher. He has maxed out almost every skill except for thinking. Good friends with his parents. Once again, not loving Diana or Jasper quite as much. A little bit weird. He is very independent. And he'll age up in 16 days, but I'm honestly thinking of turning lifespan back on normal for a little bit to like speed up so next like generation can take place in February. And then over here we have Cade. He is an angelic sim, 26 days to age up. Uh, max out his imagination and potty and good friends with all of his siblings. Jasper lagging a bit behind, I think just because he's the youngest, level one in everything. And then independent. I think I'll go ahead and age up Fletcher. Maybe we'll age him up in this little video. Maybe I'll have them go ahead and bake him a cake and we'll age up Fletcher. And then Kate will probably be a toddler until she gives birth and I'll age him up. And I'll just kind of age them up as I see fit. And I'll keep Jasper a toddler for a little while longer until the baby is a toddler maybe. But yes, that's what we've been doing. I'll wait for Carl to go ahead and get home so I can introduce him. What's going on? Go to work and I'll call the babysitter. Uh, sent to daycare. That's what I meant. Okay. They've been sent to daycare. Woo okay. Let's go ahead and wait for Carl to come home. All right. Here is old mate Carl. All the boys have returned home. He has the freelance botanist level uh, aspiration. He's already at level three. So he's almost finished that. He just has to grow a cow plant and then keep leveling up his gardening skill. He is a level eight floral designer. So he's in like the floral... Uh, Diana has been practicing and practicing a section. She can't get it right. Should she take a break or keep at it? Let's take a break. Good call. Yay. Okay. Awesome. So he cho chose like the floral designer, like the florist one rather than the botanist. So he's more in like the creative side. So he needs to get up his gardening and flower arranging. But he is awesome at cooking, flower arranging, gardening, parenting all that good stuff he has a couple of friends from around the island and he loves all of the boys whereas diana has a little bit of a like mean streak with fletcher 
And yes, he is almost, oh, I should mention, they are both adults about to be elders soon. That's why I'm thinking of aging up the boys because it's just taking a little bit too long. Even though they do have 45 days, I don't want them to be like elders when the boys are children. <laughs> He's a music lover, creative, cheerful, and collector. He likes cooking, fitness, video gaming, wellness, gardening, and photography. And he is a workaholic. He really, really is such a workaholic. And that just about sums up the family. So maybe we'll go ahead and get him to make a cake and we'll age up Fletcher. Let's go ahead and cook a cake. Okay, sure. We'll do a sugar-free carob cake. These aren't really... I guess they are a little bit like wellness freaks. Not freaks. That's not the right word. But like wellness buffs. Uh, and yeah. Oh, I remember before I lost my progress due to the power outage I did buy them more potty chairs because this was just like not enough only having one okay let's go have them go ahead and take turns doing the potties and we'll go ahead and bake the cake and age Fletcher up so you guys can see him as a child and then I'll wait a little bit longer and age Kate up off camera and by the next time you see them, they'll probably all be like adults. So I just thought it'd be fun for you to see them like midway to for at least Fletcher. And like I said, I'll be doing current household videos. Is that cake okay? Oh, it's excellent. Beautiful. Let's add some birthday candles. Good job, dad. Okay, let's go ahead and polish this up. And when does she get home from work? 9 p.m. Okay, only in a couple of hours. We can go ahead and wait for her. Maybe the boys can go ahead and take some naps while they're waiting for mum to get home. And I'll just speed on through until she does because I don't want her to miss out on, on seeing the boys age up. Alrighty, the boys just woke up from their nap. Good timing. Well, they're about to wake up. Good timing because mum just got home. So let's get her to go ahead and have a seat. And then dad can go ahead and... Can we help Fletcher go ahead and blow out his candles? See, so yeah, I'll do a little like update video at the end. Is that Fletcher? No, it's not. Put him down. We do not want to age up that kid. Hey, you put Fletcher down. You don't even like him. <laughs> That's not true. She does. She does. She just put him down. She just doesn't get along with him as well as the other ones. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and watch Fletcher age up. So yeah, I'll go ahead and film a update like this at the end of each month, like once each month is complete, at the beginning of the next month, I guess. I'll go ahead and show you guys the progress that the family has made. Ooh, such is cute. Okay, let's randomize. He's a kleptomaniac. <gasps> okay, I guess if he's a kleptomaniac, he'd kind of be like motor, like fitness. He's got to be real agile and whatnot. There is Fletcher. <laughs> a little bit grumpy. All right, they're in horrible moods. Let's get them all to all go ahead and take a piece. Can I not call to meal? Okay, I guess I have to get them to all like individually take a piece. All right, we'll go ahead and take a piece of cake. We're all very hungry, so let's go ahead and do that. Don't do that. Leave him alone. He can grab food off the counter like a normal person, okay? All right, we're all going to go ahead and grab a piece of cake and eat it too. And then in the next update which will be you know for february in march diana would definitely have had her baby and we'll find out if it's still a girl it was a girl last time she gave birth so i hope it is and all these boys will probably be aged up and will be getting on with their lives and hopefully their house will be a bit more furnished right now it's kind of bare and like you know there are some parts that are just quite empty so i'm sure by the next update their house will be a lot more snazzied out but thank you for going ahead and joining me for this current household update for the month of January 2022 for the Dove Legacy. I hope you're looking forward to the next update. And I'm going to go ahead and insert some screenshots as a little slideshow at the end of this video just to show what's happened between when I created Diana and now to summarize like everything that happened while I was playing off camera. Until next time, I hope you'll have a very snazzy day and I'll see you all soon. Bye!